Hi guys. This is Sylvia here. So, um, last night I had a dream. Okay, um, it's a very cool dream. I, I, um, kind of like what just happened. I'm going to share it. Okay, so, in this dream, um, there was a great hall and people were in there and, um, we were all waiting for someone to walk in. So, before, it was before... Um, we went into this hall. There were already people in the hall and there were people outside of it. On the outside of it was this picnic area. And, um, so there were these men sitting down, you know, having fun, talking with each other. And, you know, enjoying each other's company and stuff. And they were speaking a like, different language. Um, it was either Italian or Latin. Yeah, there's a big difference between them, but I don't know. I wasn't paying attention that much to their language. So... And I was a waitress for that for that little short time um, before we all um, came together. And um, I remember serving them uh, grape juice in this large glass and, you know, with a little straw. Oh, yeah, it seemed like a nice drink. It wasn't grape juice. It, was, it wasn't grape juice. It was, it was a purple color. It was also seeming it was grape juice. So, yeah. And then the dream, like, changed kind of to where we were all gathered in a big hall and um straight ahead of us were these large double doors they were like five times a human's height they were very tall that when you opened it this whole part just opened and it was so majestic and huge so yeah as i said we were waiting for someone to walk in and this person was greatly honored and blessed and privileged and they were seen in a high standard so I personally don't think it was Jesus because the group of people I was with, we were righteous, we were good people, I think we were purified and whatnot. So I'm assuming it's after the rapture. So, so we're waiting and um, no one dared really to, to sit as close to the door to meet this guy because we all had to see this guy, okay? Um, this is why I'm going to tell you he's not, I don't think he's Jesus. Um, so yeah. We were all sitting in the back of the hall, lining up, and when someone got um, in front of me, blocking my view with like this big thing they put in front of me, like a tent or a big chair or something, I don't know. Like I get a little frustrated because I'm like, I want to see this guy too. Okay, and then because this weird part, and this girl brought her bed to to put there to wait for this man to walk in. Um, it was a twin size bed. She was like a little girl. She was like probably seven or eight. It was, it was, this dream was like so weird. I was like, what is going on? <laughs> so, yeah. So we waited. When someone walked in who was late, supposed to be in the congregation gathering, waiting for this special person to walk in, and it was the one person who opened the door, we all get like, oh, no. <laughs> so, okay, so. And it was some, some, some time passed, because in, in heaven there is no time, so this is how I can describe it, some time passed. And, um, there, this man walked in. He had, he was very beautiful. Um, he, he looked like he was in his 60s, and he, but he had white hair, short white hair, like, not long like this or anything. And um, he was very playful and very nice. And um, this is why I would say it's it's not Jesus. Because he was old and he had a big bos um, bosom, 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 bosom. <laughs> and he like, seemed like this nice fatherly dude. And I don't know who this man is. I'm assuming it's Abraham. I don't know because I'm pretty sure, I don't know, from what I would Yes, Abraham will have like a beard, but this guy had a beard, short, but like Abraham will probably have a longer one or something. I don't know, maybe Abraham shaved? I, I don't know. So yeah, this guy walked in and we all were happy. And the dream ended and I had to wake up because my alarm rang. So yeah, we waited for this guy to walk in. He walked in and the whole congregation just cheered for him and everything. Um, pretty much it, really. Yeah, so, so you nothing else to talk about. I'm doing good, I guess. Um, well, bye.